Hey family, it's good to be with you on this Wednesday afternoon again. Hi family and welcome to Doing Life with Pastor Donovan and Pastor Chantal. So today we want to speak about the seven redemptive names of the Lord. Mm. Now we do know that there are other names that God goes by, but we want to specifically speak about these seven redemptive names and really how it relates to us mm. today as we do yeah. life. Now, back in the book of Exodus, when God instructed Moses to go to the Pharaoh and tell him to let the people of Israel go, mm. we understand that the children of Israel was in slavery for over 400 years. And God then says to Moses, go and tell the Pharaoh to let his people go. Mm. And when God instructs Moses to do this, Moses then says to the Lord, but Lord, what if the Israelites say to me, who is it that sent you? Mm. What is his name? What shall I say to them? And God then says to Moses, tell them I am who I am. Mm -hmm. And so we want to talk about the seven redemptive names and how we can call upon those mm -hmm. names in our life today. Yeah. And you know, and it's so important that we know who God is to us in every situation because then we'll call on the right name Correct. of the Lord. So the first name that we want to look at is Jehovah Rapha, right. the Lord is my healer. Right. You know? So whenever we face challenges in our bodies, you know, sickness, we can call on that name. He's the healer. He's the healer. Because there's so much power mm. in that name. And if we call on that name and we believe that mm. God can heal us, mm. you know, healing will come to us. Correct. Correct. And we know that it is a biblical principle yeah. that whatever we speak, Eat. that will come to, to, right. to pass. If we speak it in faith, it will come to pass. Yeah. The very next name that God goes by is Jehovah, our banner, yeah. and that is Jehovah Nissi. Yeah. Jehovah Nissi means the Lord is our banner or he is our refuge. Mm. So we find this name was really given to give the children of Israel an assurance of God's protection. Yes. That he is always there to protect us and to deliver us from our enemies, yeah. from our foes. So when we pray for protection, when we call upon the Lord for our refuge, we call upon Jehovah Nissi. Yeah. And the next one is Jehovah Shammah. The Lord is present. Mm -hmm. And that is so awesome wow. because the Lord is ever present. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter where we go, yeah. what we face, he is always with us. He will never leave nor forsake you. Correct. Because He is ever present. Amen. And that is so awesome. To know, yeah. To know. Mm -hmm. And if we can just, you know, if we sometimes just can understand the power in those names. Yeah. Then we will, we will know God, God yeah. our back. You know, the, God is present with us. Jehovah, Jehovah Shammah gives us such an assurance yes. that we never have to face things alone. That's right. And so when you're going through trials, yeah. when you're going through tribulations, mm -hmm. when you're going through trouble, it's just to call upon Jehovah Shammah mm -hmm. and say, Lord, just let me experience, let me feel your, your presence, presence yes, right God. now. You know, and the Bible says, if you draw close to God, you will, will draw close, close to you. Right. So that is such an awesome descriptive mm -hmm. name of the God that we serve. Yeah. He is Jehovah Shammah. Shammah. The next name is Jehovah Tishkenu. Now, if I'm pronouncing that correct. Mm -hmm. Now, that, that name means that the Lord is our righteousness. Now, we know that God has made us righteous. Yes. That if you accept the Lord Jesus Christ yeah. as your Lord and Savior, you become the righteousness mm -hmm. of God. That the very same righteousness that Christ bought for you is something that you can claim. Mm -hmm. So, there's a difference between holiness and righteousness. You cannot be more righteous than what you are right. at the time. When you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you become and you take on that very nature of righteousness. Right. And righteousness simply means right standing, standing with God. Standing with God. And it's, like you said, if we accept Him as our Lord and Savior, mm -hmm. we don't have to work for it. Yeah. No, we, we become immediately, we become righteous. Correct. With the Father. And then... You know, Jehovah Shalom is mm. the next one. Wow. Which means peace. Peace, yeah. So, you know, call on that name. Mm. When you go through trials and turbulations and you in turmoil, when you get in, in anxious about, about something. something or your situation, call on that name. Call on, 
on Jehovah Shalom, mm. because God is your peace. He, right. He, we serve the Prince of Peace. That's right. And so, you know what, to have the Prince of Peace with us mm. every day, and we know we can call on that name, mm. doesn't matter what we face, you won't become fearful, you won't, you won't become anxious, Correct. and you just, you will walk in peace in Correct. every season of your life. You know, when I think of um, Jehovah Shalom, the Prince of Peace, you know, today the Jewish people still yeah. greet each other that way. Yeah. And I am always taken back to the scripture where Jesus was in the boat with his disciples mm. on the way to the opposite side of the lake yes. to go and minister there. And there was a storm. Yeah. And during the storm, the disciples got very frightened, very yes. anxious, very worried fearful. and fearful. And yet Jesus was asleep in the middle of the storm. Mm -hmm. And that to me yeah. just depicts what peace is. That's right. You know, when you go through things and you're in the middle of a storm, yeah. you can have absolute That's peace right. because you serve the Prince of That's Peace. Right. He is Jehovah Shalom. Shalom. And we need to call upon that name, yeah. especially in today's age. That's right. You know, we need peace in our lives. Yeah. The very next name is Jehovah Jireh. Now, Jehovah Jireh simply means the Lord is your provider. And so when we keep our eyes focused on mm. the Lord, knowing that our provision comes from Him, mm. that again brings such a, a comfort to my heart, mm. knowing that I do not have to look to the left or to mm. the right. I do not have to look yeah, to people. I can right. simply look at Jehovah Jireh because He says He is my provider. That's right. In Philippians, it says... <laughs> That he can do, that he can See. provide now. He can provide all our needs according to his yes, riches in glory. glory. Ephesians says that he can do exceedingly abundantly, abundantly above all things right. that we can think yeah. or ask yeah. or even imagine. And that is the God that we serve. He is Jehovah Jireh. That's right. That's right. And I don't want to serve any other God yes. but Jehovah Jireh because Absolutely. I know. I just have to keep my eyes on him and mm -hmm. if I lack I can ask him That's because right. he will provide my even if he even know my need before I know what my need is gonna be. But we just need to ask him. That's right. And have faith that he will that yeah. he will receive it, you know. Yeah. just before you go on to the next one, Jehovah Jireh is a powerful name to mm. call on. It's a characteristic of God. Know this that God not only can supply your need, yes. but he wants yes. to supply your need. Yes. Understand that he, you serve a God that wants the best for you. Mm. You serve a God that wants all your needs met. Right. But you need to call upon that name. Oh, that name. You need to call upon Jehovah Jireh. Mm. And like the song says, he is more than enough. He's more than enough. There is nothing right. else that you need in life right. but Jehovah Jireh. Yeah. And, and the next one is Jehovah Raha. The Lord is our shepherd. Mm. You know. If we accept him as our Lord and Savior, he's our shepherd. Yeah. We won't we won't need to follow any other gods. Correct. But keep our eyes on, on, on us, on him as our shepherd. Mm. And Psalm twenty three explain it so beautifully. Yeah, it does. You know. So we just if if you, you know Joe, just go read Psalm twenty three again mm -hmm. and refresh your memory and, and meditate on yeah. on what it means that he is our shepherd. Psalm 23 yeah. verse 1 starts off yes. by saying, the Lord, Lord is my shepherd. That's right. In other words, the Lord is Jehovah Ra, mm. which means he is your shepherd that his rod and his staff will comfort, comfort you. you. It right. says there, even though you go through the valley, valley of the shadow of death, That's you will right. fear no evil. That's right. Why? Because you've got a shepherd that will yes. guide you through turmoil, through troubled waters. He will lead and guide you. To green pastures that's, that's what the right. word promises us mm. so again you know know that he is the one that shepherds you that's he right. is the one that will take care of, care you. of you and god places shepherds in the form of pastors over yes. different people that's right. and we acknowledge that we walk in the office that's of pastors right. ourselves yeah. and so we know that we are shepherds here on earth to mm. people but he is the great shepherd that's right he is our high priest Mm -hmm. And so, just as the Lord leads and guides us, so too will He lead and guide you. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're going through turmoil, understand this, friend, that you can call upon this name, mm -hmm. that you can call upon Jehovah Ra. When your physical pastor is not around, yes. when your natural or your physical 
shepherd his mother around, mm. you know, in the midnight hour, That's when right. you're alone in your home. Call, call upon God. Jehovah Ra. That's He's right. your shepherd. Let him lead you and let, let him guide, guide you. you. Amen. That is so powerful because, you know, like you said, when you're in your midnight hour, yeah. you can call on that man. Absolutely. He's always there. He's always there. He will God. never leave nor forsake you. And God never sleeps. Yes. You know? Amen. Um, so we trust that this seven names just gives you a perspective of who he is. Now, God said to, the, to, to Moses, tell the children of Israel, I am, I am who I am. So if you need healing in your body, call upon Jehovah Rapha. If you need provision in your home, Jireh. Jehovah Jireh right. is the name that you, you call peace on. peace in your home, call on, on, on Jehovah Shalom. That's right. You know, and, and just go meditate on these, on these names. And what they're it, powerful. They're powerful and what it means. And, and you will never feel that God is not the God of nearby. Because he promised us that he will never fail us yeah. in, in any situation. Yeah. So call on those names. Go meditate on it, family. And you will see, you will walk in victory every time Amen. when you call on his name. Amen. Aren't you glad that you serve a God yes. that have got all these characteristics yes. and all of it is pointed at you That's right. so that you can live a life of success, That's that right. you can live a life of victory, victory. here on this earth. Amen. Amen. We serve a good God. Amen. Well, is there anything from your side? No? Well, we just want to say that we love you. We continuously pray for you and we are there for you. If you ever, ever need us, you can just pop us a WhatsApp or let us know on social media yes. what your request is and we are happy to pray for you. Well, family, we are standing in the beginning of, of 2020. So liaise with us, you know, interact with us, share, share the videos. Let us know what you want us to discuss if you're not sure of anything and you want some more info, let us know yeah. what, you know, we will appreciate it, we will um, pray about it, and we will discuss it. Absolutely. So from our home to your home, we love you, family. God bless you.